There are growing concerns tonight about downtown Asheville's reputation as a top tourist destination. Yeah, business owners feel the trash problems and the homeless are tainting the city's image. News 13 Kim of the King is streaming live on Broadway. And Kim, what's sparking this discussion? Larry, it's just what you said, word of mouth, and we're live now on the rooftop of the social lounge, and on a Saturday night, this place can be packed. But still, they are concerned about getting visitors coming back with business owners across the city wanting serious issues addressed. Five nights a week, Steve Whitten tickles the ivories for patrons dining at Vincenzo's. Even on a Monday night, there are people here, something owner Dwight Butner depends on as a longtime player in Asheville's restaurant scene. But we need to keep our face on. Feedback from tourists and business owners alike is Asheville's reputation is getting frayed. Every day when I open my restaurant, I have to clean up from the night before. Trash on sidewalks, another issue, crime. I mean, there was a stabbing this weekend in downtown. Pritchard Park, now home to many homeless and street entertainers begging. They're aggressively panhandling people, and they're doing it in such a way that your average person feels threatened. Rebecca Hecht has owned the Adorn Beauty Salon on college for four years. The concern for her, pedestrians who could get hit. Crosswalk lights that are needed in certain places. It's partly why she, Dwight Butner, and about 50 other downtown business owners joined in a forum to list concerns, including nudity, women exposing themselves to tourists, and other issues they want leaders to address. One issue raised by Pastor Amy Cantrell is what she sees as downtown segregation. I think you can look at this room and, and see that, that we have you know, black and Latino um, members of our community and others that, that don't feel like they have a place in downtown and should. Millions generated from tourism is the bottom line, and what could be in jeopardy, according to business owners who feel growing concerns need to be addressed. It is in their financial interest to make sure that downtown Asheville maintains its reputation and stays the economic engine for Western North Carolina. Even through the fall months, downtown Asheville is busy with tourists, but you can see right across here on Broadway, across from the Mellow Mont Mushroom, there are empty storefronts, as well as upstairs uh, areas that could be office space or residential space. And the next step now, according to business owners, is to start a major campaign for funds that would be taxpayer dollars. We do want to note that Councilwoman Esther Mannheimer, who also happens to be running for mayor, was at the meeting tonight, stood up and voiced her full support. And while the River Arts District, we understand, has gotten millions of dollars for redevelopment, it could be the same in the coming months for downtown Asheville. Reporting live downtown, Kimberly King, News 13.